Hello and welcome to another tutorial of Adonis FX. In this tutorial, we are going to see how we can use Adonis machine learning technology to improve our facial simulation results. We will use the rig facial targets to compute muscle patches and their fibers directions. Then, we will apply the results into our previously simulated scene. Let's start by creating the muscle patches. Adonis muscle patches are a smart way to describe the probabilities for an underlying muscle to be affecting the behavior of the skin. To create the muscles file, we will need a neutral mesh and a few target meshes. So let's do it. Open the Learn Muscle Patches tool by pressing the shelf button. First select and add the neutral mesh. Then select and add all the target meshes. We will now select the vertices that are mostly affected by the facial expressions. Select a location to save your AMP file and establish the number of muscle patches. In our experience, a number of 79 muscles is ideal for a complete head, including the neck and front of the face. You can click on Draw Muscle Patches to see the result of the operation. This will override the current shader and show a colored shader map. Finally, click on Execute. The process will take a few seconds. Each color represents a muscle patch where the points of activation will be driven by the same fiber direction. Let's see now how to apply the resulting muscle patches to our Adonis Sim Shape Solver. Open the scene with the simulated character. In order to have the muscles activating during the animation, we first need to connect a geometry that has only the facial expressions without any head or body animation. We call this geometry the Deform Mesh. So select the Deform Mesh and add it to the simulated mesh using the Adonis FX menu. Now we can apply the muscle patches. So let's select the simulated mesh and go to the Attribute Editor. Search for Muscles Activation Settings tab. You will see that the drop-down list shows no activation. So let's load our muscle patches file. Click on the folder icon and select the previously created AMP file. Once loaded, you will be able to select Muscles Patches from the Activation Mode drop-down list. Select Simulation Mesh and click on the SimShape Debug Shelf button to see how the muscles are being activated during the animation. The red areas indicate activated muscles. If you want to make the muscles behave like they are overlapping, you can increase the activation smoothing value. Click on the debug icon again to go back to the original shader. Let's compare the two simulation results now. Take a look at the cheeks. As you can see, after applying muscle patches, the cheeks look less wobbly than before. This is a more realistic behavior as the underlying muscles are activated, which should prevent them from moving freely. This is everything for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.